Hello, I am Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look to the new Mac Mini M4 Pro with the chip and how well it's doing in uh, working with an LLM. In this video we are going to see the memory usage and how fast the responses are. We are going to test it and see how it does. So basically this is the M4 Pro with the basic things. It has the 24GB of unified memory and 512 gigabytes of SSD. It has the default chip with 12 cores and 60 cores, a neural engine and uh, 60 core the 60 cores GPU. And uh, yeah, in in this video we are going to give it uh, a try and see how it's it's working. So basically, to run an LLM to this Mac Mini, you will need to have something like Olama. This is one way to run an LLM in, in here. And in here, you are just going to download this. You are going to install it. And you are going to see that in here, you have like the Olama that it's running. And in here, you have all the models that uh, you will be able to run. So basically on this configuration, the optimal things are the ones that are uh, like between 14 billion of parameters. For instance, like this one, the Lama 3.2 Vision one that can be used with Im images. This one, it will be very, very good. It will, uh, uh, it will work fast. So after you do this, to be able to run a uh, model with Orama, you just go and for instance, you are doing right this, Olama run uh, LA, the model you are wanting with 3.2. The default one, it's this one with 3 billion parameters, it has like 2 gigabytes, it's not uh, very big. And if you want to run the smaller one, you can do it like this. I've already done this, so I've pulled one in here. You see that it took like a couple of minutes to download the, the model. And in here you have the memory usage. So for instance, right now you see that you don't have any swap on the memory, it's quite low. You have a lot of cached files that are used in here. And uh, for running these LLMs and not typing directly in here, I'm using anything LLM. So basically, again, this is like an application that uh, you can install it uh, locally on your Mac. You can see in here, you can download it for desktop. I already downloaded it and then you can install it and it will add a nice UI to your, uh, to your LLM application and you can run models easily in, in here. So after you are uh, downloading this, you can hit this anything LLM. This is the application in here. For instance, if you are going to settings, you see that you have the AI providers, LLMs. And in here you have the options to choose from different providers. You have the open AI, you can add the Anthropic one, Gemini, and you can use uh, the um, together and other, other ones that uh, you may you may want you have also the open router so you can add those apis but in here we have also llama for instance let's see where it is let's search and you see that llama it's in in here and in here you'll see the models that are uh, used so right now so for instance first let's go and uh, choose this one and uh, in here you see that you have the model the max stock tokens so basically i will let this because the P4 one, it has the increase in number of max tokens that can be used. And in here you have the base URL, you have the keep alive. So it will stop after five minutes if this is not used. And you have the maximum performance mode in here set up. So right now I will save the settings to use the llama. And we are going to see also the memory, how it's increasing. So in here you have them, you're using 10 gigabytes and most of the files are cached right now. So if you are going to go back and create a workspace, so basically like this, and I'll put this home workspace, like this, anything I am using. And in here, for instance, right now we can go and ask it something. Who are you? And right now this will use the Olama and you see that it's quite fast. And uh, you see that it's uh, very fast and let's ask it let's create the snake game in python and right now you see that it's going and uh, starts to 
create a snake game in, in Python. And right now in, in here you see that uh, this is quite fast and the more way that it's used, it's almost going to the, to the limit. So it's using everything. And right now the game is finished. And uh, yeah, you are uh, seeing that this thing is quite fast. And the other thing that you can do is to go and change the provider right now. So you can go and change the one to the P4. And if we're going to go back and in here, I will just go to settings just to see and it's using the system default one, the workspace. So it should use the one that we set in there. You can ask him again. Let me open a new thread. Who are you? And right now we are going to see again that the memory is increasing. So right now you have even more memory that it's used and this thing is more slow because using, it's using the P. And uh, let's create the snake game in Python. And I have asked him this, so you see that it's just going and uh, typing things. This is not very fast, but it's mm, not that slow. And with the 24 gigabyte of memory, it's like uh, to the limit. You see that it doesn't use any swap, but it's using most of the memory. So right now you have like 23. But again, I'm also recording when I'm doing this. So this is adds an extra memory usage. And uh, you see that right now the game is built up. This is quite decent if you are thinking to, to buy the base model. Of course, if you have like the money, you can go and buy the one that has more GPUs. If you want to, let's say, have a better performance for this, and uh, you can have the one that it has the 40 gigabytes of RAM for a better RAM performance because this memory, it will be used between the system and the graphic unit. And right now, for instance, I have seen that the coolers have been started on this because it's, it's running and you see that, uh, yeah, for uh, CPU, you don't have a lot of load, but for memory and GPU, it's it's having load and yeah, I have, uh, I have um, started the cooling system on this with this LLM. So you need to be conscious of that, that these LLMs are heavy and it will just uh, load your uh, Mac mini M4 Pro. So right now the cooler is stopped and you see that the memory is decreased after the response it's uh, given. And uh, right now you have the snake in Python, so basically in one minute or so, you have this, the latest P4 that it's running on your Mac mini. And basically this, uh, it's an agenting one and it's better because it's thinking before responding. So you see it's doing a step-by-step -step in, in here. So with a Mac mini, you can also try this. Yeah, so I have this Mac mini for one week and it's quite nice. And one of the reasons that I've not chosen the base model is the fact that this one is a little more powerful with a little more space and um, it can run LLMs uh, a little faster than the base one. So yeah, this is how it's doing in the LLMs. And in here with anything LLM, you have the options to activate, for instance, agents. And in here you can have a rug, you have the summarization, you can scrape website, you have the web search if you want, SQL connectors and custom things that you can add. So yeah, anything LLM can help you add a nice UI to your LLM application in Mac mini. I hope you yeah, enjoyed the, the video and you've seen what uh, this mini powerful PC can do with uh, P4 for instance. And yeah, thanks for, for watching.